Well, good morning everyone, and welcome to another video on the banks of the Hampshire Avon. I am here today hoping to catch a two pound roach. I've put a lot of work into it, and I'm feeling today's the day. Um, it's an absolutely freezing cold morning this morning. I'm just waiting for the sun to come up. It's just starting to come up now, so. Um, just needs to warm up a few degrees and then I'll probably start putting the float through. Um, yeah, we've got this lovely bit of river here. I mean, it's absolutely pristine. You've got some fast, pacey water on the far bank there and through the middle. And this side, you've got the big slack, um, which is where I'm going to be putting my float. It's, it's sort of back eddies here. You've got this nice little back eddy and it's... It's the sort of place you'll always catch roach, always. They're off of the main flow and they're just sitting here hopefully. So I'm using red maggots today. I've got a 16 foot cadence rod, which is a beautiful rod for this. And keep it nice and high off of the flow. Yeah, so I'm gonna get set up and we'll see what we can get. What we've got here, we've got, a, I don't know whether you can see it on the camera, but the. The river is proper pacing through on the far bank and through the middle there. And then what the angle it's coming is a branch up here and it's kicking it off towards the far bank. And what it's doing, it's creating this massive sort of eddy around here, it's sort of back eddies. Um, I tried putting the float through on the fast water, but it's just so pacey, it's more feeder fishing, I'd say that. So what I've done here is I've been putting some maggots and some hemp in along this back eddy here hopefully there might be some fish in here so there's only one way to find out i've been feeding it steadily for about 20 minutes there's a few little snags down there that it catches on but it's not actually that deep either here but it's a perfect place for fish to hold out I'm just fishing the maggot today. I've, I've not even bothered bringing any bread with me today. It's a lovely little cut location, this. It's just so peaceful. No one about. And you won't see anyone around here either. I'm just fishing a four gram Avon style float. The float basically does what it wants here. See, at the moment it's coming towards me, so I just need to test it a little bit and find the right spot to put it each time. So I'll just go out a little bit further there. Because I don't really want it coming towards me. It needs to sort of go back that way. Where it is there, it's just sitting still. And it'll just start to pick up. It's still just coming towards me a little bit there. isn't what I want again so try a little bit over that side that seems to be where it could be going yeah now let's go the other way now that's what I want that's what you call a back eddy seems to want to come in to my bank all the time. But if there's any big roach around here, this is where they're going to be sitting, off of the main flow. In the back eddy. We just need to get that going in the same spot every time. 
it's a good uh, you can line off the water now, it's just staying still there. You've got to be careful because as that comes towards you, obviously your line slacks up a bit, so. Yeah, that's no good there. Don't want it there. There's a fish on. Chub. Oh, no, it's a sea trout. <laughs> came here for. Definitely not what we came here for. That hook. Got something on it. I just managed to turn the camera on. Feels like a roach. Feels like a good roach, actually. Yeah, that's a two all day long. In the net. So, we'll weigh that. What a perfect specimen. Let's get him on the scales. Properly hooked, top lip. What a perfect. Perfect Hampshire Raven roach. And I've got the scale zero. I don't know whether you can see that, whether it's in focus or not. I'll wet the bag. What we got there? Two, two four. I'll call that. Two pound four ounce Hampshire Raven roach. There you go. Two pound four ounce bar of silver. Lovely Hampshire Raven roach. That's where you want to be getting the float every time because you come in any nearer, it wants to come towards you all the time, and you don't want that. Very difficult to swim to fish this.
I know this floats a long way away, but it's the only place you can put it where you can get it to go through properly. Because if there's any roach down here, this is where they're going to be sitting. a fish. Feels like a roach. Go easy with this because it does feel good. Good fish. A lump. Sturdy boy. Just got to go easy on this. It's a big fish. It's a big roach. It's even taking line. in the neck. Oh, I need to take a deep breath here. <laughs> this could be a three. Farm is scaled. Just give him a little rest in the water for a minute. Mm. 
Right, let's get my scales out. That's a big lump. Yes, there, mate. Just want to zero these scales. Zero. Wet the bag. Just follow the rules. <laughs> going to beat my PB this zero scales oh my god I don't know whether you guys can see it I'm actually shaking Three pound four ounce Hampshire Avon Roach. What a lump. It's not often you see that on camera, so. <laughs> three pound, it's just over three pound four. Well, I'm going to call it three four. Do you know what, if I don't catch another fish all day, or for the rest of the week, I just don't give a shit. I'm going to savour this moment. <laughs> what a lump. What an absolute lump. Calm down, mate. Three pound, four ounce Hampshire Avon Roach. What a lump. <laughs> Let's get him back. Well, I'm absolutely speechless. I've come down here for the week and I've hooked a three pound four roach on the float in this nice little slack life just doesn't get any better than that well I've got to thank my old mate Charlie Kemmett for that three pound four roach because if it wasn't for his tuition I wouldn't have known how to catch that everything he's taught me river craft, casting everything, how to put floats through the river. It's certainly paid off today. It really has, so thank you, Charlie. Fish of a lifetime, that. From a top angler. I mean, he's had plenty of threes, so I'm sure he'd be chuffed as punch to see that I've actually caught one. He doesn't know I'm here. <laughs> I've kept it a secret from him just to, just to show him that I can do it. And it really, really has paid off. Well, I think I'm done for the day. The light's starting to go now. It's freezing cold, my hands are frozen. I've only had the two fish today, but God, well worth it. Three pound four and a two pound four. Um, fish of a lifetime that I don't think I'll ever do that again but you never know <laughs> I mean this this river throws up some big roach in the right areas you know I've never fished this area it's absolutely brilliant as you can see that where the river comes around that bend up there it pushes across onto that bank and it's left this massive slack area here because all the flow is going on that far side and that's where I've had these roach out of. I looked at this swim and I thought, that is just crying out roach. And well, it's paid off. And to get them on a float as well, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Just, I'm lost for words. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you on the next one.
See you later. Thank you.